بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویئرس ناظم دا تھرٹی سیونتھ لیکچر لاسٹ ٹائم آئی ٹول یو دیٹ آئی ول بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ اے نیو سبجیکٹ نیو ایریا آف لیٹر رائٹنگ اینڈ دیٹ از ڈس اپوائنٹنگ نیوز لیٹرس ارلیا وی ٹاکڈ ان ڈیٹیل وی ڈسکسڈ ڈفرینٹ فارمس آف لیٹرس دوز وچ پٹین ٹو request letters and also to good newsletters and we did discuss various formats but overall there was one uniform approach to those letters and that's what i discussed a couple of lectures ago that was the direct approach of writing today when i was coming for this lecture I came across a Chinese proverb which I thought I must share it with you and which said do not answer a letter when you are in great distress or when you are in great angry mood now it's a very pertinent thing that when you are in an angry mood surely you would not be in a right frame of mind and when they say that when you are in a great angry mood don't answer a letter quite appropriate because it is important when you are writing or even when you are speaking as i said to you when i was talking to you about communication skills i said you must relax and good be in a good frame of mind so naturally when you are writing letters and especially when you are writing letters like the disappointing letters or bad news letter all the more essential all the more careful to be in a good mood so that you could have the right tone which is appropriate for the reader i'll be talking to you about the uh, the, the appropriate tone the right tone because i have been uh, emphasizing about the audience centered approach and today i'll touch upon the audience centered tone as well so when you we talk about the bad news letters or disappointing news letters we have to keep in mind that here we are going to share something which would not be readily acceptable by our reader obviously bad news not good news disappointing news need to be put forward in a definite special environment where you had already made the preparation for the person to receive the news aapne rozmara zindagi mein bhi dekha hoga ke jab aap kisi ko koi buri khabar sunane lagte ho to usse pehle thodi si us shakhs ke sath ek baat karte karte uske sath usko mentally prepare kisi ko agar kisi ki death ki khabar sunani ho to aap kehte ho ke یو نو اللہ تعالیٰ کی مرضی ہے جس کی چاہے جتنی عمر لکھے وی کین نیور اشیور ہم اپنی طرف سے پوری کوشش وغیرہ وغیرہ اینڈ دس از واٹ از نون ایز دی کوشننگ یو پریپیئر آ پرسن مینٹلی ٹو بی ویڈی ٹو ریسیو سم تھنگ وچ از ناٹ پلیزنٹ ایگزیکٹلی دا سیم وے وین رائٹنگ ڈس اپوائنٹنگ نیوز لیٹرس یو ہیو ٹو بی کیئرفل دیٹ یو پریپیئر دیٹ گراؤنڈ which is called as the cushioning so that your reader is mentally ready or mentally in a rational state because wo otherwise uska reaction emotional hoga so today when i'm going to talk to you about bad news i'm going to especially emphasize on couple of things which would be entirely different what i have been discussing with you during the last lectures as i said in the last lecture our approach was direct starting with a faster start but here we will be using an indirect approach indirect approach means that we will not come up with the bad news or disappointing news straight away rather we will bring the reader into a a frame of mind which is receptive to reasoning 
to our argument and also a tone which will set an environment where the reader would consider that whatever the decision has been taken by the writer is for his or her benefit. Mind that there are five goals which need to be kept in mind when you are writing a disappointing newsletter. And these goals are first that you want to convey the bad news first and the foremost. In the back of your mind you want to deliver the bad news. Second, while you are trying to deliver that bad news in such a fashion that it doesn't disturb the mental balance of the reader, you also are trying to ensure that your reader accepts it with good grace, accepts it with rationality. You know, straight away, emotionally, usko reject karte. Ye aapka dusra goal hoga to ensure that you frame your letter in such a way that your reader says, yes, perhaps, yehi mera liye. And the third important goal is that you want to maintain the goodwill of the reader. Ye na ho ke aapne disappointing letter bheja hai aur uske baad the reader severs all relationship with you, gets annoyed and says, no more working with this person. So that's why that's an important third aspect that you want to maintain readers' goodwill. Then the fourth one is that you also want to maintain your organization's good image. Ye na ho ke aapne koi adjustment nahi ki, aapne credit extend nahi kiya, aapne koi cheez replace nahi ki, and the reader say, I am not going to consume. Uh, any product of this organization or I'm not going to do, uh, do any working relationship with this organization because they, re they rejected my uh, request. So it is important that your future business relationship be time. And the fifth very important aspect, fifth important goal is that you want to eliminate or you want to reduce all future correspondence on this very subject. Because it's consuming your time. So therefore, you would not like ke usi subject ke upar bar bar or correspondence hoti hai. Agar aap ye paanch aspects apne zehen mein rakh kar, apne bad news or disappointing newsletter ko uh, formulate karenge, you will be doing exactly what is expected of an effective writing. Now, to meet all these five goals in one single message is difficult. Needs a lot of expertise. Now you see that it is not so easy that you may straight away start writing, incorporating all these things. It will require special skills and special information and special observation. To do that, you can make the bad news letter effective by observing two things. One, that you adopt an audience-centered tone. Aapki writing ki tone, audience-centered ho, reader-centered ho. Ke wo tone ho, jo ke reader ko acceptable ho. And the second is that you organize your message to meet your reader's needs and expectations. And that you can do by using a direct or indirect method. Direct or indirect approach. You got two, two choices as I said to you earlier. Aap direct tarike se lik sakte hai, giving the bad news or indirect method. So organization of your message which meets the needs and expectations of your reader is a second very important aspect. Hum ye dono cheezo ko aaj discuss karenge ki hum apni writing ke andar आप ऑडियंस सेंटर टोन कैसे ला सकते हैं उसके बाद हम मैसेज को हालांकि मैंने आपको शुरू में कहा कि इट वुड बी ऑलवेज प्रेफरेबल टू हैव एन इनडायरेक्ट अप्रोच लेकिन एक यहां यूनिक सिचुएशन होगी जहां मैं आपको कहूंगा कि यहां बैड न्यूज भी आप डायरेक्ट अप्रोच के साथ लिख सकते हो 
Aye, let's discuss how to create audience center tone. As I must have mentioned to you earlier, that it is not what we say matters, but how we say it. How is more important? What can really be sent in different ways? Just in oral communication, I have told you that you can a statement you can deliver it in a number of ways. Exactly the same way. It really matters how you put the, your substance in words form. So your tone would actually contribute to the message effectivity by helping your reader getting in that mood. Agar aapki tone is kism ki hogi, which is not threatening, which is not being rude, which is not being aggressive, aapka reader receptive ho jayega. And would understand, the reader would understand that under the situation, under the circumstances, jis ke andar aap uski request ko turn down kar rahe ho, your decision is fair. Keep in mind, fairness. Aapki tone ke andar fairness honi chahiye. And fairness would, would mean is that you are judging, you are weighing aapka customer theek hai ya aapki organization theek hai. Aage mein chal ke baat karunga aapse ke although we believe that the customer is always right but in certain situations you have to turn down the request of your customer by saying no we cannot do it. So fairness is important. Second is tone ki jab baat ki to goodwill is important. That is you have to see to it that when you are being fair then at the same time you maintain a goodwill with your customer. Ye na ho aapka customer annoy ho jai and customer may like to sever all the relationships. That's why when you are maintaining that tone keep in mind along with the fairness goodwill with your uh, reader with your client is important as well. Jaha mene fairness ki baat ki, jaha mene goodwill ki baat ki, ek aur cheez important hai, ke aap ka decision bada firm hona chahiye. Firmness aap ki writing mein aani chahiye. Because you must show that whatever decision has been taken, you are firm on it and that firmness will come after you have incorporated the fairness and the goodwill. Because of course, you can't be firm on a decision when you have not been fair in your judgment. Thick, ye, these three things will change tone. Ko change karegi. And then, you must respect the pride of your reader. Okay? Maintaining the respect of your reader. You can't be rude to the person by using language or being discourteous. Of course, that will that will damage your goodwill, the relationship as well. So therefore, maintain the respect of the reader. So when establishing the tone, keep in mind four things. Therefore, firmness, fairness, goodwill, and fourth is the respect. Ye char chise, jab aap apni writing ke andar incorporate kar lenge. Letter ko frame karte vakt ye char chise jab zehn mein rakhenge, तो आपकी अप्रोच और आपकी जो राइटिंग टोन होगी वो ऑडियंस सेंटर्ड होगी, राइट? नाउ कीप इन माइंड दैट बैड न्यूज़ इन्वॉल्व्स इमोशंस, लाइक आई सपोजिंग आई एम अ कस्टमर, आई वाज सफरिंग, बिकॉज़ आई बॉट अ प्रोडक्ट व्हिच वाज नॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू माय लाइकिंग, प्रोडक्ट डिन फंक्शन लाइक Remember, photocopier was constantly giving trouble to my organization, right? So therefore, I was emotionally disturbed because my whole organization was suffering. My productivity was suffering. Therefore, when a person like that complains, then you can't completely ignore the emotions of a person. So therefore, it is important when you are writing, you have to involve empathy in your writing. आपकी राइटिंग 
कि नॉलेज करना चाहिए इमोशंस व्हाट योर कंज्यूमर इज गोइंग थ्रू सो दैट इज एम्पथिक रिस्पॉन्स होनी चाहिए माइंड इट यू कांट लेट योर इमोशंस एट द सेम टाइम इंटरफेयर विद योर मैसेज लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल सपोजिंग you are involved in a situation where you have to deliver a bad news to your employee verbally yahan written ko thoda thodi der ke liye main bhul jata hu and after setting the same tone uska frame of mind la kar and then you deliver the bad news that look here you are being fired and from tomorrow onwards we do not need your services right and this decision you took after a lot of you see study and even pain because uh, such decisions are very hard decisions uske andar fairness involved thi uske andar aapne you you realized that the the guy was not working according to your uh, requirement and supposing that employee starts weeping starts crying a very strange situation emotional state tell me would you change your decision surely not because what is of prime importance is the working environment so lihaza that's what i'm saying while we are being very emotional while we care for the emotions of the person but yet we cannot afford making such a decision so aap bhi jab writing ke andar you incorporate emotions that doesn't mean ke agli dafa agar if the person right writes back to you you change your decision no firmness is important ab now i say you can adopt the audience centered tone by paying attention to three things one is using the you attitude ye main bar bar isko repeat karunga ye verbal mein bhi aayi oral communication mein bhi we talked about the you attitude but likewise you will see in the writing too pichle jitne letters maine aapko dikhaye uske andar you attitude was fairly evident while framing your arguments while organizing your message you have to see that you point out how your decision actually benefits the reader agar aap ek hi message ko jo ki aap ye kahe ki we cannot replace this equipment because warranty period has expired aur aap you have to discuss kaise kaise laenge main aage example mein aapko dikhaunga lekin just for the time being so that this point sinks in your mind is koi bhi situation ho whenever a person has a complaint you attitude can fit in very well let me give you my personal example at times people come to me for say uh temporary jobs as a visiting professor and they justify ke we are very expert in this very field and they insist on being given a try and if i have made up a mind going through their cv that the person will not be able to deliver how to refuse how to convince the person my you attitude एकदम अडॉप्ट करता हूं मैं उनको समझाता हूं कि मैं कहता हूं कि लुक या आर स्टूडेंट्स आर वेरी स्पेशल स्टूडेंट्स दे आर इंटेलिजेंट स्टूडेंट्स दे आर अब एवरेज स्टूडेंट्स एंड इफ दे फाइंड आउट दैट द प्रोफेसर इज नॉट अप टू द मार्क दे इमीडिएटली गिव अ फीडबैक एंड वंस वी रिसीव अ फीडबैक व्हिच इज अगेंस्ट अ प्रोफेसर देन ऑब्वियसली वी आर बाउंड टू consider and then of course after repeated checks we have to take decisions so are you ready to put yourself in a situation where i think that you are not fit but you insist you will have you will carry a bad name with you isn't it better that you improve your experience or qualification and then come and teach it's a you attitude right exactly the same way आप जब भी कोई कैंडिडेट uh, या कोई क्लाइंट 
tell them that it is in their benefit, certainly, Dusa Bandabi considers, yes, it is for his or her benefit. You attitude ke baad, another thing which is important for you is to choose positive words. Agar aap words ki choice mein, jaise mein aapko pehle bhi kaha tha, if you make wrong choices, the words give different meanings. And as you know, we attach different meanings. And especially when you, in, in writing, you use negative words, obviously, the person will get a negative message. I am you some negative tone words. And how can we change negative tones in positive tone mein without changing the meaning? First sentence, dekhi. I can't understand what you mean. Now, if you put this sentence in any of your paragraphs, it's a negative tone. I, I can't understand. It's a negative word. Now, isko I positive tone? Mein kaise change karta Please clarify your request. So simple. It's not negativity. Nahi hai. Ye kehna ke main, I can't understand you. I don't know what you're saying. Agar aap isko ye kahe, ke, agar, uh, can you explain me further? Mera khala, I have not been able to understand you better. Just like uh, oral communication, mein hai, exactly the same way. Please clarify your request. Positive tone. Second, second sentence. The damage won't be fixed for a week. These are the examples you come across, you will encounter in your professional dealing. Aap kisi ko jayenge, aap usko te television aapka kharaab hai, aap se kehenge, I want this television to be repaired as soon as possible. Uh, ek hafte mein ho jayega, wo kehenge, nahi, itti jaldi to nahi hota. And now, negative, negative tone. If, if it is put in a way that the item will be repaired next week, no negative word. So, that's how you can change a negative tone into a positive tone. The breakage was not our fault. Ab dekhi iske andar negative tone hai. Hamari galti nahi to aapki galti hai. This is what is it implies that it's not our mistake, it's your mistake. Wrong. Don't use such a, such a tone. If we can, we could replace it by saying, the merchandise was broken during shipping. Ab ye kisi ke upar aapne fault nahi dala. Kisi ko aap blame nahi kar rahe. But this maintains the same. Good relationship, good image of the organization, positive tone. And another example. The in, enclosed statement is wrong. Matlab aapne galati ki hai. You have not been careful. Aapne jo statement likhi hai, wo galat likhi hai. Being aggressive. Isko kaise change karenge? Please recheck the enclosed statement. Ab iske andar, you are not hurting anybody's right. You understand? That's how. And I, I, I would request you that once you keep these things in your mind, you must start practicing them. Ye bagair practice ke nahi aayegi. Isko aapne, uh, you would have to think, organize your thoughts and start writing. Otherwise, it won't come easy and you will be making such mistakes by using negative words, negative tone. Third important thing to have that audience-centered tone is that you use respectable language. When I say respectable language, of course, I have oral communication mein bhi bataya ke it is preferable to use the passive voice impersonal language explain your audience mistake in in an inoffensive way agar inoffensive way mein batana hai passive voice kar de rather than saying you did this or uh, instead of saying being impersonal you you could use a third person main aapko example dikhata hu agar aap ye kahe the appliance won't work after being immersed in water. Agar is cheese ko aap paani mein dip kar doge, to ye kaam nahi karegi. Because you have received a complaint. Something has gone wrong. Aapka cellular phone kharaab ho gaya hai. Halaki wo paani mein gir gaya tha. Aap ne nahi bataya. But you said something has gone wrong. And say, the appliance won't work after being immersed in water. What, what does it mean? But aaye kehne ke, you shouldn't have immersed the or drop this in the water. What a, what a good thing it. 
کہ بھائی آپ نے اس کو بالٹی میں گرا دیے میں نے کہا ایسڈ اٹ ول ناٹ ورک اف اٹس ڈراپڈ ان واٹر دیٹ از دا بیوٹی آف اے لینگویج دیٹ یو کین کنوے دا سیم میسج ان اے ڈفرنٹ وے وین دی آڈینس از ایٹ فالٹ یو ایٹیٹیوڈ از بیٹر آبزرڈ بائی اوائڈنگ دا ورڈ یو یہاں میں نے ایز اے میٹر آف فیکٹ امپلائی کیا ہے کہ بھائی سیلو فون آپ ہی استعمال کر رہے تھے شورلی آپ ہی نے گرایا ہوگا بٹ یو یو کا لفظ استعمال کیپ ان مائنڈ سو دیٹ از واٹ یو ہیو ٹو بی انٹیلیجنٹ یو ہیو ٹو بی کلیور اور آپ اگر اس طرح سے پریکٹس کر کے اس کے اندر تھاٹ پروسیس ڈال کر اپنے تھاٹس کو آرگنائز کریں گے بٹ پریکٹس مائنڈ اٹ لیٹ می ریپیٹ اٹ اگین اینڈ اگین دس ول ناٹ کم ایزی گڈ ریڈنگ گڈ رائٹنگ ایکسٹینسو رائٹنگ پریکٹس کریں گے پھر یہ آئے گا دو بائیس ناٹ میں نے آپ کو دو باتیں شروع میں بتائی تھیں ایک تھا آڈینس سینٹر ٹون اور دوسرا تھا آرگنائزنگ یور میسج بائی انکارپریٹنگ دی ایکسپیکٹیشنس اینڈ آئی ٹول یو دیٹ یو کڈ اڈاپٹ بوتھ ویز ڈائریکٹ اور ان ڈائریکٹ اس کی ایگزامپل میں آپ کو پہلے دے چکا ہوں لیکن فار دی سیک آف ریویژن فار دا سیک آف ریوائزنگ اور تاکہ آپ کے ذہن میں بھی چیزیں ریفریش ہو جائیں تو آئی ایم ڈوئنگ دیٹ اگین ان آڈر ٹو آرگنائز یور میسج دا کی ٹو چوز دا بیسٹ اپروچ ویدر یو وانٹ ٹو ٹیک دی اپروچ آف ڈائریکٹ اپروچ رائٹنگ اور ان ڈائریکٹ یو مسٹ اینالائز یور ممبرس ہوم یو آر رائٹنگ اینڈ وین یو آر اینالائزنگ دا پیپل ہوم یو آر رائٹنگ یو ہیو ٹو سی واٹ ووڈ بی دیئر لائکلی ریئیکشن اگر آپ ان کو ڈائریکٹ بیڈ نیوز دے دیں میرے جیسے بندے کو اگر کوئی آ کر بیڈ نیوز ڈائریکٹلی سنا دے مجھے کوئی اثر نہیں ہوتا مینس آئی ول ٹیک اٹ ود ریشنالٹی میں کہوں گا یس ناٹ دیٹ آئی ود گو ان ٹو ایموشنل ریگریشن یہ نہیں کہ ایک دم مائل ایموشنلی سنک کر جاؤں گا نہیں آئی ول کیپ مائی سیلف فلوٹ اینڈ آئی ووڈ بی ریڈی ٹو ہیئر دا بیڈ نیوز اسٹریٹ اوے رادر دین کوئی مجھ سے میرے پاس آ کے پہلے کہانی گھڑے اور پھر سنائے نہ ہو سیکنڈ تھنگ از یو ہیو ٹو سی ہاؤ امپورٹنٹ از دا میسج کہ کیا یہ میسج آپ نے ڈائریکٹ دینا ہے یا ان ڈائریکٹ دینا ہے ہاؤ ویل یو نو دا پرسن یہ اپنا میسج آرگنائز کرنے سے پہلے آپ کو یہ بھی جاننا ضروری آپ کے لیے ہوگا چونکہ میں یہ ساری چیزیں آپ کو ریپیٹ کر رہا ہوں جو پہلے میں نے آپ کو بتائی ہیں کہ نوئنگ یور آڈینس از امپورٹنٹ آئی ایم ٹیلنگ ہیئر اسپیشلی وائل آئی ٹاک ٹو یو اباؤٹ ریٹن لیٹرز از کیونکہ ہم آرگنائزیشن میں پروفیشنل آرگنائزیشن میں جہاں انٹرنل کمیونیکیشن ود ان ڈپارٹمنٹس ود ان آرگنائزیشن وہاں ایون وی شیئر دا بیڈ نیوز تھرو ڈائریکٹ اپروچ دا ریزن بینگ پہلی بات ہمارے پاس وقت نہیں ہوتا اینڈ دین دا بیڈ نیوز از ان پرسنل نیوز فلاں جگہ ہماری کیمپین فلاپ ہو گئی اب ناؤ سنس اٹس ٹوٹلی ان پرسنل اٹ ہیپنس ٹو دی آرگنائز آف کورس وی آل آر افیکٹڈ بائی اٹ بٹ سم ہاؤ اٹ ڈزنٹ ہرٹ ایز مچ ایز گاڈ فار بیڈ اف آئی گیو یو اے بیڈ نیوز ریگارڈنگ اے ویری کلوز ڈیئر ون سفرنگ فرام سم ویری سیریس ڈیزیز تو یہاں آرگنائزیشن کے اندر جب بیڈ نیوز آپ نے شیئر کرنی ہے یو کڈ یوز اے ڈائریکٹ میتھڈ اینڈ اسپیشلی وین آئی ٹاک ٹو یو اباؤٹ میمو رائٹنگ انٹرنل کارسپونڈنس میں یو ول سی دیٹ آئی ٹیل یو ٹو رائٹ ڈائریکٹ ڈائریکٹلی ڈلیور دی نیوز ڈائریکٹلی ود ود فرسٹ پیراگراف بتا دو کیا میس بیکاز میسج از شارٹ میسج از ٹو دا پوائنٹ اینڈ یو ڈو ناٹ ان نیسیسری انڈالج ان کریٹنگ ان انوائرمنٹ سرکمسٹانسز جو کہ امپرسنل اوکے سو دیٹ از وائی اٹ از امپورٹنٹ سم پیپل ایون دیٹس واٹ ایز ہیڈ از کہ وڈ لائک ٹو ریسیو دی بیڈ نیوز ڈائریکٹ اینڈ مائنڈ اٹ If I happen to talk to you about the job applications rejection, I'll tell you that the only ideal situation, when you communicate with bad news, 
आप जॉब एप्लीकेशन में डायरेक्ट अप्रोच इस्तेमाल करेंगे नॉट इन डायरेक्ट बट स्पेशली वेन यू आर डीलिंग विद कस्टमर्स रिफंड है क्रेडिट एक्सटेंड करना है कोई रिप्लेसमेंट है कोई डैमेज की कंप्लेन है वगैरह वगैरह क्लाइंट्स बहुत सेंसिटिव होते हैं उनके साथ पर्सनल रिलेशनशिप उनका गुडविल दैट्स वेयर यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल वाइल राइटिंग दीज बैड न्यूज लेटर्स और एज आई से इज डिसअपॉइंटिंग न्यूज लेटर्स सो दैट्स वाई वी वी प्रेफर यूजिंग द इनडायरेक्ट लेकिन उससे पहले लेट मी शो टू यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द डायरेक्ट लेटर we regret to inform you that we cannot grant your request for a donation to the association's scholarship fund ye jawab diya ja raha hai disappointed letter hai kyunki somebody requested for donation to an organization aur ye jawab aa raha hai ki sorry we cannot grant you second paragraph jiske andar explanation di gayi hai so many requests for contributions are made of us that we have found it necessary to budget a definite amount each year for this purpose our budgeted funds this year have been exhausted so we simply cannot consider additional requests however we will be able to consider your request next year it's a good explanatory section jo ki pehle introductory paragraph ko explain kar raha hai lekin sath hi has also given a hint ki hum aapki jo request hai for grant agle saal aap, aapko consider kar lenge closing dekhiye we deeply regret our inability to help you now and trust that you understand our position agar main aapse puchu ki pichli sari exercise jo humne ki sare rules jo hum अप्लाई करते आए हैं कहां कहां इस लेटर के अंदर गलतियां की गई श्योरली यू वुड से दैट द वर्ड रिग्रेट कैन नॉट ग्रांड नेगेटिव लेटर्स हैं एंड वी अपनी बात हो रही है शुरू उनकी अप्रिसिएशन नहीं है कि आप बड़ा अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं वी अप्रिशिएट दैट वी एक्नोलेज यू आर गुड वर्क कुछ नहीं है स्ट्रेट अवे इट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट आर ओन सेल्फ लिहाजा इसके अंदर इस लेटर के अंदर नेगेटिविटी है बट दिस इज अ डायरेक्ट दिस लेटर शोज दी हार्शनेस इस लेटर को हम चेंज करेंगे सो दैट वी मेक इट प्लाइट इसको क्वेश्चन करेंगे when i say we are going to cushion it i mean we will start the letter with a buffer something which is neutral something which is mutually agreeable non controversial or sometimes even appreciating some commonalities so in indirect using a buffer i will explain to you aaj main buffers ke बारे में डिटेल आपको बताऊंगा बफर कैसे आपने कंस्ट्रक्ट करना है बफर किस किस कितने किस्म के हो सकते हैं और ऑलवेज बैड न्यूज स्टार्टिंग विद बफर एंड देन सम एडिशनल पैराग्राफ और टू अबाउट डिटेल्स एंड देन एम्बेड द बैड न्यूज इन सच अ वे बट हैज टू बी क्लियर इनफ एट द सेम टाइम दैट इज यू हैव यू ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर द ग्राउंड फॉर अ पर्सन टू रिसीव दी बैड न्यूज यही एग्जाम्पल जो आपको मैंने अभी स्क्रीन पर दिखाई आइए मैं आपको दोबारा उसको इनडायरेक्ट अप्रोच के साथ कैसे बफर के साथ उसको क्वेश्चन करके और फिर फर्दर चेंजिंग इनकॉर्पोरेटिंग इन टू यू एटीट्यूड इन टू इट चेंजिंग द होल कॉम्प्लेक्शन ऑफ द लेटर आइए देखते हैं अब इस लेटर के अंदर this tact and courtesy subject is your scholarship fund request the opening paragraph your effort to build the scholarship fund for the association's needy children are most commendable dekhiye start with an appreciation this is what is known as the buffer we wish you good success 
in your efforts to further this worthy cause. We are always willing to assist worthy causes whenever we can. Ab explanatory note. That is why every January we budget for the year the maximum amount we are able to contribute to such causes. Then we distribute the amount among the various deserving groups. Since our budgeted contributions for this year have already been made, we are placing your organization on our list for consideration next year. Closing is, we wish you the best of luck in your efforts to help educate the deserving children of the association's members. Ab, compare the two letters. Pehla letter, negativity is a Vohi, same message, has been totally changed by giving, making it so pleasant. Perhaps the reader would not mind having been sort of rejected, not receiving grant, but there is a hope that next year perhaps they would get it. So now we will see that when we have to use a buffer, how should we use it and what are the qualities that should be incorporated into the buffer. Because buffer ke andar aap apni personal koi opinion nahi dete. Buffer is neutral. Buffer is something which appreciates, which acknowledges the, the interest of the, the reader or rather the commonality of the two organizations. So, jahan wo neutral hai, wahan it is as well relevant to the, to the subject. So, therefore, when you are thinking of formulating a buffer, see to it that it is neutral and also it is relevant. A buffer should not mislead. Some people think that it's a form of trick you play with the receiver when you are starting the bad news with the buffer. In fact, it is not. You do not mislead. You do not mislead your reader. Rather, you try to bring the reader into a frame of mind which is receptive to the news. So, keep in mind it should not be misleading. Aap usko overdo na kar jau. Lekin, buffer should be assertive. Assertive doesn't mean that you become harsh. Kyunki, mein jaise aapko kaha tha, iske andar firmness aapne show karni hai. That you are firm about your decision. So, the assertiveness should be there. And the, the fifth aspect should be as I have put it, this succinct, it should be brief, to the point, it is appropriate. So, a special word, maybe that adds to your vocabulary to succinct being hona chahiye. That is, it has few brief, short, structured uh, paragraph hona chahiye. When you are writing a uh, buffer, you have to keep in mind a few things. One, that you must avoid saying no. Negative, koi cheese. We cannot do this. We regret. We are sorry to say anything which relates to no. Avoid that. And then at the same time, when I said firmness, jaha mein keh ke buffer mein firmness honi chahiye. Avoid using the no all tone. I know it all. Thik hai ke nahi? Ke ye na ho ke padne wale ko ye pata chale trying to show that I know everything. No. Thori si humility bhi ho, lake in firmness, but not at the same time. As I said to you earlier, you are assertive, but yet you are not aggressive. There's a difference between assertiveness and aggressiveness. So, avoid reflecting that you know everything. Must avoid wordy or irrelevant phrases or sentences. Pompous, high fly words ne istamal karne. Because the purpose is not to use heavy words and influence your reader. It has to be in a simple way. 
important. Never be apologetic. And that's why in your letter writing, especially when you are regretting, you're not putting the word regretting, but you do not regret that we are sorry we cannot do that. No. No apologetic tone. Because if you are being apologetic, then that's a bad reflection on your organization, on your working environment. No apologetic tone. And avoid writing a buffer that is too long. It has to be brief and it has to be to the point. Now let's look at the various types of buffers. I am showing you a buffer on the screen which will show to you that you have with different, having different strategies, how you can use different examples buffer ke andar. Supposing aap ke your, the strategy you have adopted is that you want to uh, reflect agreement into the uh, opening sentence. That is, the strategy is that you want to find a point on which you and your reader share some similar views. Ye aap ke strategy aap ne sochi hai ki maine buffer is kisim ka likhna. Example kya ho ki aap likhne ki? We both know how hard it is to make a profit in this industry. Ab supposing you are writing this letter to a person who is in the same business and asking a replacement of something which is not right and it's going to cost you a lot, then a very good buffer. Okay, you already know in this business, there's not a lot of profit. And you want us to replace it wherever it is not being right. So you are in the business too. Realize, ab ye fairness hai. you are making the person realize, don't ask for something which is not fair. Here, the person would agree that yes, perhaps he is right. Aapki strategy, mein aap ek appreciation ka buffer istamal karna chahti. Supposing you have received something, huh? say, you want to express sincere thanks for receiving something, koi badi large amount, outstanding amount, das lakh ki outstanding amount, bande ne do lakh ka check bhej diya, baki adjustment ne kara, thik hai? So do appreciate. Kaise? Your check for rupees arrived yesterday. Thank you. Ye na ho ke aap us do lakh ko to bhool jaye aur baki ki baat kare ke wo nahi diya. To buffer mein pehle appreciate kare and then you can use that. Look here, that's a very good gesture, this and that. I know that you care a lot about your reputation, good work, vagara vagara. You will say, okay, fine, something has come. Appreciate such a buffer. Another type of buffer. Thik? Agar hamne cooperation ko appreciate karna hai. You want to convey your willingness to help in any way you realistically can achieve. To aap kaise buffer ko example mein show karenge. Employee services is here to smooth the way for all of you who work to company's goals. Aapki labor ke saath khat pat ho rahi hai. And they're asking for something which you cannot do. You will Use a buffer like that. Okay. Look, we are there for, for cooperating each other, helping each other, but our common motive is company's welfare. You start with such a, a buffer which shows the cooperation. Now, I want to write a buffer like this, which shows the fairness. My strategy is that I will fairness ko uphold the fairness and justify the fairness कि मैं नहीं कर सकता जो चीज मुझे रिप्लेसमेंट के लिए दी गई है आई कैन नॉट द फेयरनेस डिमांड दैट आई शुड नॉट बी डूइंग इट माय स्ट्रेटजी इज दैट आई वांट टू अश्योर द रीडर दैट यू हैव अ दैट यू हैव क्लोजली एग्जामिन एंड केयरफुली कंसीडर्ड द प्रॉब्लम और मेंशन एन अप्रोप्रिएट एक्शन दैट इज ऑलरेडी बीन टेकन ये मेरी स्ट्रेटजी एग्जांपल क्या होगी फॉर द फॉर फॉर द पास्ट वीक we have carefully monitored those using the photocopy machine to see whether we can detect any pattern of use that might explain its frequent breakdowns. You will come across lots of such complaints in your professional life. Aap agar electronic goods bejte 
people will return you within the warranty period, say supposing, with complaints. Shayad unko wo model pasand nahi aya. Magar they just want to find an excuse and they'll come up with malfunctioning. This is the buffer which you would be using. The fairness demand ke humne pichle ek hafte se usko chala rahe hain. Hame to koi galati aisi nahi. But you're being fair. If you find a fault, you will point out. But since you do not find justification for a replacement, this is the buffer you will be using. In certain cases, which you would like to praise before you uh, say the bad news. Asa buffer just can up tarif karna chahte. You find an attribute or an achievement to compliment. Koi na koi cheez aap usme se supposing your resume shows an admirable breadth of experience which should serve you well as you progress in your career. Kisi ne job ke liye apply kiya, mere paas CV bheja hai, main usko, I'm going to refuse the job. But then, this is the buffer I will use because in this, I will praise his or her achievements and at the same time, because I do not want to discourage the person. Okay, there would be lots of other appropriate uh, positions where you would fit in, which, com which would commensurate with your practical experience or with your academic background. So, aisi chaga pe aap, aise jo hai na buffers istamal karenge. Supposing I want to use a buffer showing an understanding. The strategy is to demonstrate that you understand the reader's goals and needs. Example meri kya hogi? So that you can more easily find the printer with the features you need, we are enclosing a brochure that describes all the XYZ printers currently available. Understanding, kya ye do cheez tum maang rahe ho, ye brochure zai isme se faisla karlo, but what we supplied, you know it, XYZ printers mein yehi availability hai understanding. Lastly, the praise. Start with the part of the message that is favorable. That is, I would say, a replacement knob for your range is on its way, shipped whatever the date is. Ab iskandar, since the person asked for a complete replacement, let's say, of फोटोकॉपी उसे कहा कि पूरा फोटोकॉपी जी हमारे रिप्लेस करके दें लेकिन क्योंकि इसलिए वो डिमांड कर रहा था कि अ सर्टेन पार्ट ऑफ द फोटोकॉपी मशीन वाज नॉट फंक्शनिंग वेल द नॉब हैड हैड कम ऑफ सो इट वाज वेरी इजी टू सिंपली रिप्लेस द नॉब लिहाजा आपने पहली न्यूज़ तो ये दी कि जी वो नॉब हमने रिप्लेस कर दी एंड नाउ it is functioning very well and you can add to the functionalities and everything and then later on main aapko aage chal ke bataunga ki kahan aapne negative news message jo hai kahan aapne dalna hai ki we sorry we cannot rip you won't use the word sorry but it it would be implied that but you will say that we cannot replace it the message would be ki knob kharab thi knob replace karti but you will started with the good news aaj maine अपने लेक्चर के अंदर आपको नेगेटिव मैसेजेस को किस तरीके से पॉजिटिव मैसेज में कन्वर्ट करने का तरीका बताया एज अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट हम अपनी रोजमर्रा जिंदगी में भी अगर केयरफुली देखें तो हम ऐसी बहुत सी चीजें प्रैक्टिस करते हैं वेयर वी प्रैक्टिस रैशनैलिटी वी केयर फॉर द इमोशन ऑफ द पीपल and we incorporate those emotions by not highlighting the negative attributes of a person feelings ka khayal rakhte hain exactly the same way in writing it is all the more pertinent it's all the more important because you're putting something in writing lihaza you cannot be careless you cannot afford to be careless by putting in negative tone or something which hurts the feeling of the reader because jaise ki maine aapko shuru mein panch cheeze kahi thi 
کہ نیگیٹو میسج میں آپ کے لیے یہ بہت امپورٹنٹ ہے گڈ ویل ایکسپٹیبلٹی امیج آف دی آرگنائزیشن اور آپ نے اپنے بزنس کو پروموٹ کرنے کے ان ساری چیزوں کے لیے آپ کو ان لیٹر رائٹنگ اسپیشلی لیٹرز وچ آر کمیونیکیٹنگ بیڈ نیوز ڈس اپوائنٹنگ نیوز ان کو آپ کو بہت کیئرفلی پریکٹس کرنا پڑے گا آئی ہوپ یو ول پریکٹس دیز واٹ ایر آئی ٹول یو کیپ ان مائنڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو فادر دیٹ وی ہیو آلریڈی میرا گڈ اسٹارٹ ہم نے پہلے پیراگراف کو بڑی خوبصورتی سے ڈرافٹ کرنا سیکھ لیا ہے وی ہیو ٹو دس پوائنٹ وی ہیو بین ایبل ٹو سیٹ دی فریم آف مائنڈ آف آر ریڈر ہم نے جو ڈس اپوائنٹنگ نیوز ابھی دینی ہے اس کو ہم نے کوشچن کر دی ہے بیکاز وی ہیو اسٹارٹ وتھ سم انڈرسٹینڈنگ وی ہیو اسٹارٹ وتھ سم پریز وی ہیو اسٹارٹ وتھ سم فیئرنیس سم کامن گڈ تھنگس سو دا ریڈر از ان اے گڈ موڈ ریسٹ شو وین وی ڈرافٹ اے مین میسج ہاؤ آر وی گوئنگ ٹو ڈیلیور دی بیڈ نیوز ڈس اپوائنٹنگ یو ول لرن دیٹ ان مائی لیکسٹ نیکسٹ لیکچر بٹ آئی ووڈ بی ہیپی ایف یو کیپ ریویوئنگ واٹ ایور آئی ہیو بین ٹیچنگ یو ارلیئر ایون ڈونٹ فار گیٹ دوز لیٹرز ڈائریکٹ ریکویسٹ لیٹرز اور گڈ نیوز لیٹرز بیکاز ونس یو کیپ دوز ان یور مائنڈ یو ول بی ایبل ٹو کمپیئر کہ بیڈ نیوز لیٹرز اور گڈ نیوز لیٹرز ریکویسٹ لیٹرز ڈس اپوائنٹنگ لیٹرز میں کیا فرق ہے کیسے رائٹنگ اسٹائل آپ کیسے چینج کر کے اپنا وہی موٹو اپنا آبجیکٹو اچیو کر سکتے آئی ہوپ یو انجوائے ٹو ڈیز لیکچر ان شاء اللہ آئی لیپیئرنگ بفور یو اگین نیکسٹ ٹائم خدا حافظ ٹیک کیئر آف یور سیلف